All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, um, the Tech Exchange Majin Buu's EZA is here. Um, I think that this guy is actually going to be a very, very good character. Um, this uh, unit is going to be able to, I think, help players a lot. Um, so, the weakness here is time limit. Um, I would say that's honestly pretty good um for the majority of players because time limit includes a lot of powerful like dokkan fest lr level characters and i mean unless you're a, a nincompoop like you're gonna be summoned on dokkan fest lr banners because those are always the best characters they have the best lineups on their banners so uh, to me there's a very good chance people are gonna have like the lr gods right who could lead your team here or uh egl uh vegeto blue uh, only thing about them, though, is, of course, their type disadvantage in here. Uh, it's kind of the one big thing. Um, all right. So, in terms of what we're working with right here, um, Exchange Boo has the extra 80% damage reduction um, against, essentially, Super STR. Um, I think probably just going Super Class is the way to go. The one villain type you could do is Extreme Int. Let's actually take a look what Extreme Int looks like for um, Time Limit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, you're going to want to just use Super Class. This is basically going to be the roster um, that is available to use. Obviously, there are some JP-only options right now, um, like Gogeta, as well as um, Super Easy Attack Gotenks. The one uh, global, like kind of like exclusive option that would be crazy, Kefla. Um, unfortunately is STR, so she does have that 80% debuff, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and jump in like this. Um, I don't think that this is an easy A that's going to be, uh, really challenging to us at all. Um, I think that with the characters that we're rocking right here, we should be fine. I mean, let's see, whatever, we got auto on, right? Let's just go ahead and see if, uh, Boo, um, is going to be able to penetrate, uh, any defenses or anything like that. I just brought in Gogeta, you know, for shits and giggles. Uh, the leader plus friend lead rotation is usually never the greatest. So they are still double digits. I mean, the gods and the LR Super Saiyan 4s, um, they do, of course, guard for their first turn. So, all right. Um, Dokkan, this Golden Week celebration does seem to be pretty good. Um, so, I mean, I, I could talk about this here. I mean, you know, I, I do like to record all the content, so I still do videos for the ends of these easy A's, but you know, obviously there's not much challenge from Boo here. It's not like I'm, you know, we have to sit here and think about every, you know, turn very deeply or something like that. Blah, blah, blah. So tonight we got the data download for this week as well as for next week. So for this week, the content is what? It's an infinite Dragon Ball history stage, um, and it's easy A tech Boo. Uh, I know JP does have a couple of missions for the Legendary Frieza event that are new. I could take a look at those. I actually have to do a lot of missions for the Legendary Frieza event. There's, there's quite a few that, that has to be done. But uh, I think because of Golden Week, right, which is a string of holidays in Japan, um, I do think that either Bandai or Akatsuki or whatever, uh, a lot of the team must have off next week. Because next week's data download and content was put into the data, like, tonight, this week, right? So, I just wanted to check what the Legendary Frieza missions are. Um, they are... Uh, I, oh, well, oh, oh, hold on, I'll, I'll go back. I'll, I'll have to um, translate them and see what they are. But we also got, again, next week's content, which includes, uh, you know, pretty... Well, I don't want to say shockingly that easy a tech gohan you know was tweeted out and then he was in the data download again I, I don't know that the word shocking is correct there because um it was well I, I mean it was fairly obvious that he was gonna easy a i mean if you guys go back and look at videos and stuff like that like i was saying it like it it, it seems stupid but on that like the banner picture or whatever for the the blue stone gohan being there that is like a smoke flare that he's gonna easy um yeah like i was saying like we, we could pull up 
10 other instances, basically, of characters on one of those banners, and then they easy it. Like, it, it, it's it, at this point, it, it's just, it is a real thing. So, Tech Gohan is going to be easing next week. Um, Bobbity and Boo are going to be easing next week as well. Tech Gohan and Bobbity and Boo are on both Global and JP. Um, but one thing that did happen that I thought was interesting um, was... We saw that the, the LR, the, the Kid Goku LR, like the, the Dragon Ball story, Dragon Ball Saga unit, that character um, is going to be an LR Goku, Bulma, and Krillin. That also comes out next week, from an awakening in the Dragon Ball story. Um, but that's only going to be on JP. So that does make me think maybe, like, you know, Tanabata or Worldwide probably won't be Dragon Ball Saga. I was thinking that maybe one of these big celebrations would end up being Dragon Ball Saga. Um, and then that's kind of one of the reasons. Can we get the 11 key here? Yeah, we can. Perfect. Um, oh, wait. Hit that. Bam. Okay. Uh, like, I was thinking that Dragon Ball Saga could be one of these major celebrations. Um, and, they were, you know, they were going to kind of sync it up to where, you know, that character would get their LR, you know, in one of these major celebrations both versions same time but that's not happening i mean i guess it's still possible that the character could you know easy a during like the worldwide download celebration and then that you know kid goku and demon king piccolo in one of the parts easy a but i mean i guess that like it's just I, I don't think it goes deeper than this a lot of people just don't understand it right but unfortunately a lot of the community is is suffering from the curse of private servers and uh, they're kind of removed from like the game like at large like it's it's understanding like like what's going on and stuff like that here there's a reason they don't really push dragon ball saga stuff as much and it's not a dokkan thing it's not a legends thing it's like all these games it is it, just because dragon ball z has just become way more notable way more popular um, like, and, you know, it's got the Super Saiyans. They just simply consider it more marketable, right? Like, we've even seen recently... Uh, so, I have fears that a lot of the Dragon Ball Super manga stuff, Moro, Ultra Ego, Vegeta, and shit like that at this point, like, I, like we might not ever see them show up and stuff. I don't know. Because I've even seen, like, a lot of the marketing in Japan right now for, like, a lot of the... The, the toys, like the figures and stuff like that. You know, a couple of years ago, they would brand everything with Dragon Ball Super. Even like, you know, like the, the you know, I don't know, Frieza Saga stuff. And it would have like a Dragon Ball Super logo on it and shit like that. And now they're going back to like Dragon Ball Z and, and like like the OG type logos and shit like that. So like, I, it's, it's like Dragon Ball Super, I think is probably, like we, we might, like it, it's, that's, that's now, Dragon Ball Super is the old shit. And they're they're past that, right? They're they're focused on Daima, I suppose. So hopefully Daima will be fire. Um, but like the thing with Dragon Ball Saga in these games is, I think that they just like Super Saiyans and shit like that's gonna sell way better. I mean, I would. When was the last major celebration that didn't have a Super Saiyan, like a, like Super Saiyan character? Because if we're gonna get if we'd get like a full on Dragon Ball Saga celebration. Like, it wouldn't have Super Saiyans in it, right? Uh, we'll do Gotenks first. It's that one. Yeah, I, I figured th this is... We're kind of just, like, tearing through this. I figured that this wasn't going to be really that bad. Um, a major celebration without Super Saiyans. So, I would consider... Like, like what I would be talking about here would be three time slots. We're going to say Tanabata, Worldwide... And then um, anniversary, because those three celebrations right now, those are like the Carnival LR Dokkan Fest LR celebrations, right? We do have the extra Carnival LR in December, right? But like, I mean, we don't need to worry about that. Although that part two LR, I mean, like again, it's like Dragon Ball as a brand is just run by Super Saiyans, man. It's it just it, it is at this point, it is what it is. Like it's that's how it goes. I do think that they could have done um, a worldwide download celebration. That was like Kid Goku and Demon King Piccolo Part One, and then Twenty Third World Tournament Goku and Piccolo Junior Part Two. I do. Um, I I suppose that fight 
is so long between Goku and Piccolo. I I'm talking about the 23rd World Turn one. Because, you know, we, we did just get very elite characters with great animation and stuff like that. There's still more shit they could take from that fight to p potentially do LRs. Like, they still could. Um, and then, obviously, Kid Goku and Demon King Piccolo. I, I would personally like to see them get, um, you know, like, like units of that caliber. Dokkan Fest LR shit. But uh, are we actually going to see it? <sighs> Bruh. I don't know. I don't know. Because as soon as I saw that LR Goku Krillin and Bulma there, it's just like, oh, yeah. Like, like instantly, I knew what that was. And then instantly, it was like, oh, damn. Okay. So, you know, I don't know. Namek is going to be like Tanabata or something like that, right? But we'll see. We shall see. Um, all right. In the meantime, we've crushed uh, Super Buu right here. Now, Super Buu, I haven't talked much about him in game right now. I do think Super Buu should be the number one easy ATUR. I would sh I always preface by saying I have not used Kefla, but based upon what I've seen, what I've heard, you know, seeing footage of Kefla and all this good stuff, I I do think that Super Buu should be a bit better than Kefla. Um, but then of course, Super it's kind of a sad story for Super Buu because like he is super good, but you know then there's there's a a big dark shadow on the horizon for next week. Uh, he returns next week and it's um. Yeah, I've already seen I've already seen the wars about it's so crazy. Like like anti tech Gohan people are just Bro, it's still it's hilarious to me. Just ridiculous. Alright, bam. Easy peasy. Um, alright, let me go ahead and easy the exchange boo and let's hop into the showcase. 